Welcome to this month's Astro Coloscope. My name's Elizabeth Harper and my website is sealedwithlove.com. So the idea of the Astro Coloscope is that we're mixing astrology with colour. I have this bag of crystals that of course are lots of colours and I also have a bag of beads. So I'm going to take three crystals and then throw them into a circle with 12 houses. We're going to see which crystal goes into which house for you this month and we're also going to take a bead just as a general kind of reading for the month as well. So let's get started. Okay, Cancer, Cancerians. So the first color that came up is this beautiful blue quartz. Look at that. So this went into your first house and your first house of course is about yourself and how you shine your light. So this blue quartz is saying you are shining your light in a very, it's almost balance, there's a sense of balance that's in, in this blue energy. Um, blue is a color that links with peace. I'm smiling because it also links with control as well. If you notice, there's a lot of authority figures that wear blue, kind of a navy blue, a deep blue. So this is about being in control. And you know, there's a sense that I almost feel as if you've, you've been through a period, possibly in this last year, where you haven't been in control. It's almost like all kinds of things have been flying out of you or flying out of your life or there's been a lot of change. And there's a sense now with this blue energy that you're, you're finally coming to this place of knowing who you are. It's like a sense of identity is this blue energy and you're ready, like ready to get started, ready to go on your path, ready to um, finally succeed and, um, yeah, pursue your dreams as well with this particular energy. And um, blue is a color that often links with um, the divine and the divine will. And I feel almost as if you could have been struggling with that. You know what it's like, you have tantrums, I want it my way. Um, and this is saying you're finally coming to terms with it not being the way that you think it should be and instead just allowing it to go with the flow and be the way that the universe um, desires it to be that is for your highest and greatest good yeah so that feels like the first house energy now in your fourth house which is um, your place of home um, you got this unikite and hopefully I say that right, you know, it's a green stone that kind of has this coral color in it. Um, you know, because it's green, it links to the, links to the heart chakra, um, but coral and green together, um, they're kind of a, a, about healing your sense of self-worth and sometimes feeling like you don't get what you want. There's an unrequited love kind of energy that's linked with this. And because it's in your place of home, this could be that, you know, your home isn't quite what you thought it was going to be, or there's things in your home that you don't want in particular areas, or you haven't quite got your home exactly how you want it to reflect you. And that green energy is going back to that new identity. But I also feel that you may have been a little bit jealous, maybe of other people's spaces, other people's lives, other people's homes, etc. And there's a sense with this of needing to let go of that and focus on the abundance and the blessings that are in your life, that's wonderful in your life. Um, this stone is great to develop your third eye unbelievably it's you know with green energy but it links from the heart to that seeing place you know your feeling and seeing are, are strongly connected and I feel almost as if through pain through sorrow your third eye your psychic abilities are opening up and you may be seeing out the corner of your eye something you know around you it's like oh, there was something there and you missed it and and I feel like there's some kind of new awareness that's opening up for you around your sight around your vision um but it's a third eye vision a psychic vision 
I'm, I'm also also getting a sense of um, massage or or something where you're helping, you're healing your body, looking after your body. But I don't feel that it's running or or doing something that is um, over strenuous. It feels more like you're having something done to you that is going to make you feel really good as well. So the. Final so your um, third stone is this black tourmaline and you see how it shines a little bit and it's got striations on it. This is such a powerful stone. It's it's great for negativity and everything bounces off it. This is going into your fifth house and your, your fifth house is a, a place of fun and entertainment and um, expression, creative expression, artistic expression, etc. It's kind of interesting that the black energy comes into this. But I feel that this is linked with research and there's a sense of you kind of researching and looking around at the moment at maybe places to go on holiday, um, places for your next job opportunity, um, the internet, you know, and, and sort of looking at other people's businesses and how you're going to build your own business, that kind of thing. It feels like you're doing research at the moment and that's what this black energy is about. It feels like covert actions. Um, and a little bit undercover, but it's so that you can have fun and it's so that you can, you know, take your, your creative expression to the, the next level. So I feel that this is a, about that just research energy, looking into your next step. Um, I'm getting something else around this as well. You know, um, this is in your fifth house. This is in your fourth house. And this one is in your first house. So, you know, there's a sense to this. These two colors are about healing the heart. And this black is almost, is almost kind of getting rid of some dark energy that, that's uh, around um, maybe how you believe in yourself, how you believe about yourself. Um, but it's linked to your health and it's linked to something like weight that you've been carrying. It's like you've been carrying a weight on your shoulders and I feel that that's what this black is linked to as well. Um, the fifth house is about children. I wouldn't like to think that it's the children that are the weight, but it could come from your childhood that uh, there is extra weight emotional, physical, mental, spiritual, there's some kind of extra weight that's there. And these two colors, these two energies, the blue and the green, are about healing your heart and again, taking you to that next level. So these are all kind of, they're a little bit on the darker scale of things. So I think this is a little bit of a heavy month for you. Um, but it's gonna be okay, we chose a, a stone that came out of the stone bag, say we, me and my guides, um, and it's green. And this is a beautiful, bright green energy. There's a new beginning that's coming up for you. Do not hold on to stuff, things, beliefs, ideas, thoughts, anything that does not serve you anymore. If it, if it hasn't worked so far, then let it go. And I feel that that's what that research is about as well. Once you've let it go, then you can research that next step for yourself. So hopefully that makes sense. So let's see what card comes up for you from the um, inner child cards. These are tarot cards. And um, they have a kind of a magical energy to them. You get the guide of hearts. So look at this, it's like a rainbow balloon and then it's like this um, wishing uh, person inside of the moon and it's somebody that you can make a wish on. So it's time to make a wish. The guide of hearts taking you to the Emerald City back there. Yeah. And uh, she has a magic wand in her hands. So there's almost a sense of, you know, it is, isn't it? It's about the Emerald City. Because if you remember at the end of The Wizard of Oz, I think she got into a balloon to, to leave the Emerald City and that's what she wanted. So your wishes can come true 
this month. Make your wish and make it maybe on the new moon, which is the 26th of July, so that then you can take, you can work, do the work over this next month and then you're ready for your big wish towards the end of the month to, to manifest. It looks like it is going to manifest as well, but it's all coming from your heart and it's that work you're going to do on your heart this month. Yeah, okay. So that's it for this month's Astro Coloscope. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please do leave a comment beneath the video. And of course, do check out my website, sealedwithlove.com. And please share it with your friends as well. Thank you so much for your support. Colorish's blessings to you. Bye.